Welcome back to the fifth anniversary of the Gothtober Readathon. Hello if you are new and you are just discovering Gothtober for the first time and welcome back if you have participated in a Gothtober previously because this is our fifth rendition of Gothtober and I am so so excited to share this announcement with you. As per usual, this is a readathon specifically around gothic prompts that relate to the general gothic genre and then the subgenres such as gothic fantasy, romance, sci fi, etc. Encouraging you to read gothic inspired books even if they are not gothic themselves. As per usual, we are not tracking reading, we are not tracking pages. If you want to read one book to tick off all of your prompts, you are more than welcome to do so. We will be hosting reading sprints, and I've got some more information about that a little bit later on doing our classic giveaway and a whole bunch of other things that I think you're gonna really really enjoy. So let's introduce this year's theme. Now you may have noticed from my introduction because I always try and sprinkle a few little hints in. This year's theme is prophetic galaxies. That means prophecies in galaxies far far away mixing a little bit of fantasy and spirituality with science fiction with gothic as the umbrella over that genre. There will be three different galaxies that you can land in playing this year's game. Once again, I've asked my brother Kieran to create us a TBR game so that you can create your TBR and is completely inspired by your choices rather than ours. I have actually added an additional element to this year's game. Now, last year, if you remember, you had to build a, a monster because the theme was creature feature. As hosts, we could remember which prompts we had created and thus which monster part we had selected so that we could build up a TBR that we actually wanted because we already knew the prompts. Not this year. This year we are as in the dark as you are, literally. All of the little sigils that I've created to land you in your galaxy have been shuffled by Kieran so that we have no idea some of them are just specs. Some of them are straight up pictures, but some of them are specs so that you can't even tell where you're gonna land if you're a host. So I'm sorry, Tish and Olivia, we did it on purpose because last year it was just a little too clean. And this year we wanna join in the fun of being, a, being surprised as to what prompts are in our TBR. So as I said, there are three galaxies and each of those galaxies are hosted by one of the co-hosts of Gothtober. So either myself, Olivia Savannah from Olivia's Catastrophe or Tish from Letitia, but I will link everything down below. Each of those galaxies has a specific theme as well. Olivia's galaxy is known as Wakanda and all of the prompts from Olivia's galaxy are related to making sure that you're reading diversely. It has Afrofuturism themed prompts, very sci-fi heavy prompts, and of course it has some sentience in there as well because Olivia has always, always, always asked for us to have sentient house as a prompt. 
It's not sentient house this time, but it could be. And that is all I'm going to say on that. Tish's galaxy is known as Nemus because that is Latin for forest and it is a very, well, it kind of matches my shirt really. <laughs> it's a very foresty themed, spiritual, herbal medicine themed galaxy. And then my galaxy is Gaia. It is the dark academia historical fiction themed uh, galaxy. So things related to steampunk and other kind of really cool historical sci-fi elements. Because there are three galaxies, when you pick your prompts, you will land in one of the galaxies. So let me explain to you how the game works. When you see the home screen, it will look a little like this and you will click through sigils as so. Each of these sigils are essentially a coordinate landing you in that galaxy. Now, the more sigils you pick from a specific galaxy, the more likely you are to land in it. And when you land in that galaxy, you will get a bonus prompt that is just for that galaxy. So you could select a whole bunch of different ones, but you will land in a specific galaxy and get a prompt for that galaxy, which is as close as we were willing to get to a buddy read, because I know a lot of readathons will do it where there is a specific book they expect you to read if we do that i know for a fact i won't read it <laughs> i just won't read it because you've told me i have to i don't want to so instead it's linked by a prompt and then once you've got that you will also have your standard lgbt bipoc and disability rep prompts that we always include in our readathons so in total you will have about 10 prompts to complete over the month now, as I said, we are more than happy for you to double up. We always are. If you want to squeeze as many prompts into one book as possible, you go for it. And you let me know what those books are because genuinely, some of these prompts are so incredibly diverse that if you've got a book that ticks them all off, I need to read it. I always TBR for every single individual one and then I tick off at the end which ones I was actually able to tick off multiple times for. We will also be doing our classic Instagram challenge as well. So there will be an Instagram board again in the document down below. We will also have TBR boards for you to share on your Instagram, Twitter or anywhere else. If you're making a TBR, please, please tag one of us because last year I couldn't find a whole bunch of the TBRs and I thought, oh, clearly Gothoba's not doing as well. People aren't enjoying it as much because there aren't as many TBRs. And then weeks later, I was seeing Gothoba TBRs coming up on my feed that even when I'd been searching for Gothoba, they hadn't been coming up. So please, please, please tag one of us so that it helps me find it because I love putting them in a whole playlist so that people can go through and I can see what you're reading just out of sheer nosiness like I really want to know what it is you're reading because there are always so many great recommendations for me in this readathon and I love that selfishly I love that as I said we will also be doing reading sprints now we usually do twitter sprints throughout the week and then I also host day-long sprints now I am starting a new job in September which means that I cannot guarantee full long day reading sprints for the first two weeks of October. However, for the second two weeks, I can. We will be doing day long reading sprints and I will also be having some guest hosted reading sprints with authors who are debuting sci-fi books that tick off these prophetic galaxy prompts. So I, again, I will put all of the information for those authors down below and the links to those live shows specifically because they are books, they are in the diary. I'm going to be there. Hello, high water. I will be there. I'm so, so excited to hang out with these authors and talk about their amazing books. We've got a sexual rep. We've got neurodivergent rep. We've got all kinds of stuff that I really want to be championing, championing during these reading sprints. And then of course we'll be doing our classic events that includes the craft night, quiz night, the, the buddy watch film, etc. Which I don't think we've actually selected a film yet, um, mainly because we want to make sure, last time we made the mistake of picking a film and then it wasn't readily available via Netflix or other streaming services. So we're going to pick that nearer the time. But again, it'll be related to that Prophecies and Galaxies and things like that. So if you have a film recommendation for me, again, put it in the comments down below. And this is the part of the video where I try and rack my brain to f remember if there's anything that I've forgotten. Normally you would list out the prompts at this point, but I don't want to spoil anything for you. I just want to leave the links down below so that you can go and check out those prompts and have a go at building your TBR. I will be doing a recommendations video that will be coming out this time next week. So keep an eye out for that. If you are really struggling to fill some of those prompts, again, I'm not going to be saying 
what the prompts are. I will just be listing books that relate to certain Gaia specific prompts. This is one of the first years where we are only doing minimal merch. There will be bookmarks available, um, but there will not be any candles, unfortunately, and there will not be any hoodies, unfortunately, just because they've not been as cost effective as I'd like them to be. And this year, having to go into a new job, I just don't have the money to kind of front that kind of thing like I would normally. But like I said, we will still be doing a giveaway. And once the books have been selected, we will do a whole video about it, I'm sure. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else that you would need to know because this is the most straightforward readathon and we've done it five years now. So if there is anything that I've forgotten out of sheer excitedness, please feel free to leave me a question down below. I make a point to answer all of my comments. Treat yourself to something from Waypoint because it supports me and my content. Check out that I have a Patreon down below as well because I will be doing some behind the scenes stuff for Gothoba over there. And most importantly, have a nice day and I'll see you in October.